about doing everything together. And we have figured it out as a university that we can make this thing special. We haven't even scratched the surface. Fight on. Considering we played seven games on the road, only five at home, and then all the Tuesday games, all the open dates, it was hard to navigate, but our kids did it, you know, and I give them credit. They won eight in a row at one point. And, uh, you know, when Terrence got hurt, yeah, we, we were not as effective offensively as we would like to have been the last two games. And that hurts when you lose your starting quarterback. But you know what? Our team found a way to rally coming here and went against a football team that had a great season this year. And so I give Tulane a lot of credit, too. They played a great game. Uh, Coach Johnson does a great job there and uh, just proud to come away with the win. The, the, the fans tonight, though, think they got at least three or four legal procedure calls because of the noise. We had so many fans here and so much community support. We appreciate it all. And I think it really made the difference as you play, as the game played through. Uh, the Cajun fans really pulled us through. We knew that uh, Terrence wasn't 100%, but we still felt like he gave us the best chance to be successful. And it showed that he was struggling a little bit throwing the ball, but he still found a way to make some plays. We didn't, it, it kept us from really executing like we would have liked to offensively. Defensively, you know, with a big pick six that scored seven points for us. Uh, and then the big stop right there. I thought they played awfully hard. Today was, was kind of a validation that everything we've done before is, is real. Is real. And we're going to continue to make improvements. We're going to continue to, to do well. And we're going to continue to make people proud. And, and, and all these people who showed up today, it was a sea of red. The whole city of New Orleans was a sea of red. It was a wonderful experience.